We're here at the 2024 BCI Conference recording in the EpiPod studio. I'm your host, Jada Monet, and I'm here with... Jordan. Hi, Jordan. How are you today? I'm well. Awesome. How are you enjoying the conference so far? The conference has been incredible. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible. I wish I had better words, but incredible sums it up. Well, that's a big word, so that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So could you share a little bit about yourself and what do you do? Sure. Um, so I'm originally from L.A. Um, I relocated to the Dallas-Fort Worth area during the pandemic um, and away from my family, away from everything I've ever known. Um, and so the last couple of years have just kind of just been this journey of like adulting, mm -hmm. like in full swing. I think that adulting when you're home is different when you're like completely away from yes. like your nuclear family. <laughs> and so uh, that's been my journey most recently um, and kind of my life and content I've created and things like that has kind of been revolving around that journey. Awesome. So how did you get into content creating? Oh, wow. Um, I feel like when YouTube got really popping, well, actually, I take that back. When it first started, um, me and my sister used to make really embarrassing skits um, <laughs> years ago. Mm -hmm. It was like, over like 10 years ago. So that's how it like started. Um, and I think that was the first time I found joy in like storytelling. Um, and then in that season as well, I started writing. I started doing creative writing like in school and um, that turned into like writing competitions and pageants and things like that. And so um, I f figured out very early that I love to tell stories. I love to explain whatever it is that's happening like in a concise and creative way. Um, and so that has kind of like pivoted in different seasons. Storytelling has looked like a lot of different things, but that's kind of the inception of it. Oh, wow. So are you currently working on any projects? Yes. Um, uh, in the not too distant future, I'm really hoping to actually start a podcast. Oh, um, awesome. So kind of ideating <laughs> um, around that right now. Um, I have been in therapy for the last three years. And I think that a lot of what I've learned in a lot of the conversations I've had um, is stuff that could be like helpful and somehow packaged for right. like my broader, broader audience. And so, yeah, something about my, my journey, mental health, um, working on myself, mm -hmm. adulting in the 20s is really hard. So something around that um, yes. is a big project I'm working on right now. And as far as you creating content and getting into that, what would you say are the top three things that you've learned thus far in that journey? Um, you have to like it first. Mm -hmm. um, I've learned that if I don't like something, there's not um, any amount of approval or likes or affirmation that can possibly make me feel better about it. Right. Um, and so that's definitely a huge one. I think that, uh, too, and I'm sure a lot of people say this, but, like, remembering why you're doing what you're doing, um, I think is really important. I think that I'm not really driven by, like, analytics or, like, numbers and things like that. And so for me, I really have had to find my way because, like, if I don't think about that, I'm not going to do it because there's <laughs> not enough <laughs> likes, followers. I really don't right. care. <laughs> Listen, I, it doesn't even matter. And mm -hmm. so I think that um, really understanding, like, I love to tell stories. That really, like, that really does something for me. And I think that God has really put something in me very special when it comes around, like, when it comes to t uh, telling stories. And so I think that, yeah, remembering that. Um, and then lastly, like, I think community is everything. Um, and more specifically, your community probably will see things in you that you probably don't see in yourself. Yes. And so just to like pay attention and to listen when people are like saying like, hey, that looks really good. Or I really, really see your eyes light up when you talk about that. Or I really think that this is your bag. Like this is the type of content you're really good at. Like listen to those people because right. they're probably seeing things in you that you probably don't even see in yourself. Cause sometimes we can be very critical. I know I am. Um, and so I think that's a big one too, is just kind of like listening to your community. Awesome. So who would you say would be your role model? Oh, that's a great question. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. Can I just say creators that I really like? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> Tabitha Brown is like, there's something about her, and I think it's probably why she is like, has gotten so big over the last couple of years, is like her authenticity, um, just unapologetically being her full self all of the time, um, is something I just really, really admire. Um, and so she's definitely like up there when it comes to like people who like they are the niche, they yes. are the brand. Mm -hmm. She's like one of those people for me. Um, kept on stage. Um, he's just hilarious, but also has like a certain oh, yeah. level of work mm -hmm. ethic and drive about himself. Mm -hmm. um, and I think following somebody from like the inception of their career also helps you kind of see their journey. And so he's definitely a, another role model of mine. Awesome. That is really, really good. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes. Yeah, so where can we find you on social media? Yeah, absolutely. So um, on Instagram and TikTok, you can find me at Jordan C. Masters. That's Jordan with a Y and not an A. Um, and yeah. 
Do you have any merch or any um, brands you like to promote? Um, no, but I have a, my friends brand, and I love to promote my friends. So um, at the writings on Instagram, that's at T H E W R T G S um, Sacred Writings Clothing Company. I love her stuff. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We're glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I'm your host, Jada Monet. Don't forget to follow us on all platforms at Riverside Epicenter.